Hi everyone, this is Laura and welcome to my channel. Um, I just want to wish everyone a happy holiday season, happy new year to all. For those of you who have I have not been able to reach out to yet or spoken with yet, happy new year, merry Christmas and all that good stuff. Um, just to give you guys a quick update, um, I have been sick almost a whole month. Um, got a little sick in the beginning of the month, slowed down, okay, Christmas came, started feeling better. Then the grandson came up to stay with me during Christmas break. He got here sick, the girls were sick, now I'm sick again. And it just seems not to end. Um, so I was really happy saying goodbye to 2014. Um, I'm hoping 2015 is a lot nicer to me health-wise and my husband. So I don't really have any resolutions for this year. I have more goals than anything else. And I guess my only goals is to try to have the best year that I can possibly have by trying to maintain some good health and just realizing how many blessings I really do have um, in my world, in my life. And just trying to be a better person, basically. That's pretty it. I'm boring, boring. Yes, I know. Nothing exciting this way. I'm not. Um, yeah. I'm not going to go into uh, all these other resolutions. I just want to basically just try to be a healthier, a happier individual. Um, and also just spread that happiness um, a bit more and just be a better person all around. So, um, a little update. Uh, like I was saying, the kids were all sick. Uh, it was funny, but not funny. They were all spread out in the living room with their tissue boxes, their orange juice, and their cough drops. And that's how we watched the ball go down. Actually, I watched it by myself. They all fell asleep. My husband was also sick. He fell asleep. Um, and you are going to hear it in my throat and in my voice. And I do apologize, but I just couldn't wait any longer to share with you guys some stuff. And I want to apologize to all my friends out there. Um, I haven't, like I said, guys, it was a really, 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 really tough holiday season, especially getting sick. It just took me by storm and I haven't gotten any packages out. Um, so they'll be, um, slowly trickling out and you might get a Christmas card from me at the end of the month, but, uh, I thought of you and I loved you all. And I thank you so very much to all my friends who did send me, um, packages and cards. I truly thank you from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate everything that I got. I am so sorry there are still some videos I have not been able to do. Um, there's still a lot of stuff that I haven't even shared with you guys that I've finished weeks ago. Um, I was MIA um, both in watching videos and in making them. Um, but I'm hoping that this cold does not kick me down any farther and I can um, gain some more momentum. Um and start handling some business. Yeah. So this card, I was not able to share it yet, but this came from beautiful, sweet Danielle Brown, um, who's also Julia, Julia Brown. And look at these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous little cutouts she sent me. I have never felt or seen anything like this. It's almost like sheer organza. But with a print on it, I love this. And um, I just wanted to say thank you so much to her. Look at that die cut. Oh, that's going to have to go on a layout. <coughs> <coughs> Guys, and I do apologize for coughing into um, the video, my camera. I am so sorry, but I really need to get these cards shared and other stuff. And this came from my beautiful, sweet friend, Rosa, whose color explosion here by Rosa. And Rosa gifted me 
um, a mermaid stamp, which I totally love. I can't wait to start playing with her. I have her here on my desk. I haven't touched her or played with her yet. But look at how beautiful her card is that she sent me. Isn't she pretty? I love mermaids. And of course, there's a little note inside. And um, Rosa is my me me mixed media queen. I love the way she colors. This lady colors. Oh my goodness. I mean, color explosion. The name so suits you. So thank you, Rosa, for my card. I love it. And then this came from Rosemary Bustillos. And we had a Baby is Cold Outside challenge on IL ILC. I always say it backwards for some reason. And look at how much dimension is on this card. Beautiful card. I love it. Thank you so much, Rosemary. You are a sweetie. And she really is. And so are all the ladies over at ILC. Can I tell you guys, I have not... These ladies are just super sweet. Super, super sweet ladies. And then... Oh, and I, guys, I want you to know that the, I just pulled these cards down from my mantle to share them because I didn't get to share them before um, before now. But these were all hanging over the fireplace on a string, and uh, I took them down to make the video. This came from Sharon, who solo led one here on YouTube, and one of my oldest and dearest and sweetest friends. And I thank you so much, Sharon. I love my card so much. And Han, I have not called you in these last couple of weeks because I've just been uh, the kids. Oh my gosh. It's just been crazy. But I promise we're going to get together real soon and I'll be calling you soon as well. So that was that. That was, Those were my Christmas cards. That Some of them that I received that I was not able to share. I shared some before. And then I got some more Christmas cards. And this was from Margaret who's also from ILC, and this one was made by Chantel, and this one was made by Margaret. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. Look at how pretty. And Margaret sent it with envelopes, and they're blank so that I can use them for next year, which I thought was super cool and sweet of her. Now, she also hosted a challenge over on um, ILC, which is one of the Facebook groups that I'm in. And... Um, I won the Color Me Crazy challenge that she had. And she, along with this, she also sent me my winnings. And she also said, now, Margaret, I don't know if you watch my videos, hun, um, but I do want to say something. I don't know how you knew this, but this is one of my favorite bestie stamps. And I do love my bestie stamps. And I don't have this one. I saw it in a rubber stamp once. And I was waiting for a sale because she always has her stamps on sale at her Etsy store. And I was waiting for the sale. And when the sale did come, she had ran out of the rubber ones. I know she has the digi ones, but I wanted the rubber stamp because at that time I didn't have a printer. Um, and I've wanted this one for so long. And I'm sure you didn't know that, but I want to thank you so much because I love her. <laughs> she's one of the images on my wish list from the besties group she also sent me a little butterfly and this one also so she sent me some little stamped images and she also sent me this Tombow um, monochromatic, monochromatic pencils and sepia and I cannot wait to play with these. Thank you so much, Margaret. I love them. And along with the pencils, she also sent me some blending stumps. Now, I have never used this, but I've been dying to. I very much want to use this. I know I've seen some girls on YouTube where they have to use mineral spirits. I think it's called. I'm not even sure what it's called. Um, but I'll find out before I start doing that. So those were my winnings from uh, the Color Me Crazy Challenge and um, the Christmas cards that Margaret and Chantel sent me. 
and rosemary and like i said guys please forgive me if i mess something up or i leave something out my head is totally congested i can barely think right now but i have to really get um these videos up because it's just been crazy so the um other thing that I didn't have a chance to share, and a lot of these are going out to my friends, are these little Christmas goodie boxes that I made. And I am so in love with these boxes. I made, and I'm not lying, I made about 20 of these. Um, and some have the peaky boo window, and some do not. Some just have a belly band. Some have no belly band and I made lots of different ones now before I share my um, box with you I wanted to share something that I didn't get to share with you guys before I just picked this up it's by we are memory capers and it's the little slot punch um, and I wanted to share with you how this works because I am in love with this especially now that I'm going to be making more mini albums because that's one of the little goals I have for myself um, oh, I guess I should have shared. This is what this does. Now, of course, this will punch out a slot in just about anything. Um, but I wanted to share with you. That's what it does. How cute is that? Now, I've never seen these before. Um, the person who I actually saw this or who I saw use this for the first time was uh, my sister Scrapper. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, she's also makes a lot of mini albums. I'm sure you all have heard of her. But yeah, I saw her um, using one of these and I fell in love and I had to get it. Now, I am cutting through. But look at how cool. And this is the little treat box I made with the little compartments and see what it does it punches out the little slots so that someone can just hold the slots and open up the goodies so yeah I made tons of these and this is what they look like and this one that has no peaky boo window I actually left these open in the middle so that um see where here I have a divider over here this one I just left it like that and then this one the reason I wanted to share these with you now I'm actually still going to be mailing out a lot of these to some friends but I thought these would be great for Valentine's Day for those of you who um, make treats for the students like for the classrooms or the teachers or maybe even a grandparent or maybe even some scrappy friends now this one I didn't put any dividers inside I only added some lace goodies because this I'm also sending to a friend um, you can put all kinds of scrapbooking yummies in here they make great party favors they're super fast and easy to make um, they're great for Easter time that's coming up um, I just had a lot of fun making these and I thought I would share that with you guys because they really are like my new favorite little box to make as you can see by all the ones that I did make <laughs> and then you can put um, when I decide where I'm gonna sh you know who is the recipient who I'm gonna share this with I'll decide then whether or not I want to put um, something else here maybe a gift tag or initials or m make it a little bit more personable so those were the boxes that I made that I did not get to share with you guys um, again I just wanted to come on and tell you guys I am so sorry I am so late on everything um, like I said I, again sicky poo um, it just doesn't seem like I'm ever gonna be healthy <laughs> but at least I could still laugh um, yeah the holiday season um, was very quiet lots of tissues and cough syrup and cough drops and orange juice but we're all here and we're all doing great and um, you know it is what it is 
I sure hope to hear from you guys and um, catch up with all of you and see what you guys have been up to. Um, I am making my way through videos again and everything else and I have a few projects and hauls to share with you guys as well. I just hope my throat um, holds up because I, I feel like I'm falling asleep right here on this table. I did take some cold medicine and now I'm feeling a little loopy too. <laughs> so guys, I hope you all have a blessed day. Um, thank you all for watching. Still have more happy mail to share and more projects. So stay tuned for those vids. And I hope you all had the best holiday season ever. And I will chat with you all very soon. Bye for now.